Hi right, everyone, um, today I'm going to be um, starting a tutorial series on how to use SketchUp to make uh, your apartments. So um, I just want to show you first of all what we're trying to get to uh, and so this is the model that we're going to make. Alright and some of you will get all the way to the end of it uh, including making this um, uh, railing for your um, uh, for your apartment for for the uh, balcony but uh, you might not get to that part that's that's okay um, so the main thing that I really wanted to 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 show you today is or in this video is how to kind of navigate your way around SketchUp so uh, this is the user interface for SketchUp you'll notice that there are some toolbars there's one here on the uh, on the left hand side and then there's another one here on the right hand side um, and so when you're building your models, anything that you're making, generally speaking, you'll be using uh, these tools here on the left hand side. Um, there are these tools here. There's also, if you uh, look at the little triple dot down the bottom here, here's the full range of all of the tools that are available in this version of SketchUp. Um, I am obviously using SketchUp for schools, as you can see here. Um, but pretty much this whole tutorial will also work in SketchUp free um, if that's the version of SketchUp that you're using. Um, it will also work in the, uh, in the app version of SketchUp. I'm using the, um, the web-based one, um, but the app one will also work. Um, but obviously the user interface for that is a little bit different as you'll, uh, as you'll see if you use that version of SketchUp. Um, so yes, yeah, so on the left-hand side here are all your tools for making stuff. And then here on the other side, on the right hand side over on this side, uh, these, this is about how to change your view, setting up your document, um, and some other things like um, materials and things like that. Um, so, um, some other things to um, make sure about. So if you are using a mouse, then you can just start using SketchUp um, just the way that it um, comes when it opens. If, on the other hand, you are using a, uh, a trackpad, then make sure that you go down here to the bottom left-hand corner uh, and then just choose trackpad as your input device. Um, work, using a trackpad is totally fine. Um, I find it difficult to use a trackpad, but that's just me. Um, don't, uh, don't worry if you don't have the mouse. Um, so I'll be using a mouse, so there we go. So one of the advantages of using a mouse is I can use my scroll key to scroll in and out, um, as you can see here. Um, and uh, I can also click down on the scroll button or on the scroll, um, on the scroll wheel and now I can rotate around without going to get a special tool for that. Um, so uh, now that we've gotten to that, let's open up a new document. And so we're going to go to home first of all. So when you open SketchUp, uh, there'll be a link for that, by the way, in the um, uh, in Classroom. Uh, when you open it, you will get this, uh, this screen and you won't have any models here, uh, probably. Uh, maybe you have one or two, who knows. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to create a new, um, a new document. So when you're creating it, don't just click on Create New because by default you'll end up working in uh, in inches and feet, which is not what we want. We want to use uh, millimeters. So down here, choose decimal millimeters and click, and then you will open up a new document. Right, and then um, the next thing we're going to do is, and this is the last thing we'll do in this video, is we're going to download or import from my device um, the uh, the template that we're going to use and so here's the template um, this will be available on classroom so you'll have to download it from classroom first and we're going to open it and we're going to open it as an image and then make sure that when it uh, when you drop it in here so I'm just going to click on the origin here once and then click again to finish there. Don't worry about what size it is. Don't even try and make it the right sort of size. We're going to rescale it in our next video. All right, that's all for today, uh, or at least for this video, and I'll see you on the next one.